Are your decisions rational? Probably not. Our brains are wired for both, rapid-fire reactions, and slow. The shocking truth about how we think. Like a car switching gears, we shift between these mental modes constantly. Thinking fast versus slow. How your brain tricks you. But how do these different thinking styles shape our choices, big and small? Understanding these contrasting approaches to thinking is at the heart of the Nobel laureate Daniel Kahneman's groundbreaking book, Thinking Fast and Slow, published in 2011, this not-fiction self-help psychology and self-developmental work of behavioral economics takes us on a fascinating journey into the complexities of human judgment and decision-making. Hello, and welcome back to the Book Fox Summaries bringing literature to life one summary at the time. So, grab a kappa, get comfy, and join us on this incredible journey through the world of literature. Kahneman introduces us to two metaphorical systems within our minds. System 1 and System 2. These systems shape how we think, make decisions, and interact with the world around us. System 1 is our fast, intuitive, and emotional thinking mode. It operates at lightning speed, allowing us to make quick judgments and decisions without much conscious thought. It's the system that helps us dodge a ball hurtling toward us, or instantly recognize a familiar face in a crowd. These instinctive reactions are crucial for our survival and everyday functioning. System 1 operates automatically, effortlessly, and often outside our conscious awareness. It handles routine tasks and familiar situations with ease, freeing up mental resources for other activities. System 2, on the other hand, is our slower, more analytical, and deliberate self. This system kicks in when we need to think things through more carefully and consider our options. It's the mental muscle we engage when solving a complex math problem, planning a trip, or resisting a tempting dessert. System 2 requires us to put in effort and focus to achieve our goals. System 2 requires effort, focus, and logical reasoning. It is the system we rely on for tasks that demand concentration and critical thinking. Thinking fast and slow argues that understanding the interplay between these two systems is crucial for making sound decisions. By recognizing when to rely on each system, we can improve our decision-making skills. While System 1 is often efficient and helpful, its reliance on heuristics and biases can lead to predictable errors in judgment. These mental shortcuts can sometimes cause us to make mistakes or overlook important details. By balancing the strengths of both systems, we can enhance our decision-making abilities and apply these insights to various aspects of our lives, from personal choices to professional challenges. To navigate the complexities of the world, our brains rely on mental shortcuts called heuristics. These cognitive rules of thumb allow us to make quick judgments and decisions with limited information. While often beneficial, heuristics can also lead to systematic errors in thinking, known as cognitive biases. One such bias is the availability heuristic. This mental shortcut leads us to overestimate the likelihood of events that are easily recalled or vivid in our memories. For example, after watching a news report about a shark attack, we might overestimate the probability of being attacked ourselves, even if such events are statistically rare. Kahneman emphasizes that these biases are not mere quirks of our thinking, they have real-world consequences, influencing our choices in everything from investing to personal relationships. While thinking fast and slow highlights the pitfalls of our intuitive system one, it also acknowledges the power of intuition in certain contexts. In his book Kahneman writes, intuition is thinking that you know something without knowing how you know it. He argues that expertise in fields like chess, firefighting, and medicine often relies on years of experience that allow individuals to make rapid, intuitive judgments. However, Kahneman cautions that even experts can fall prey to cognitive biases when operating outside their areas of expertise. The key takeaway is to be aware of the limitations of intuition and to engage our more analytical system too when making important decisions, especially in unfamiliar situations. Have you ever noticed how a simple change in wording can dramatically alter your perception of a choice? It's fascinating how our minds can be swayed by the way information is presented to us. This phenomenon, known as the framing effect, highlights the powerful influence of language on our decisions. Kahneman's research revealed that people are more likely to take risks when options are framed in terms of potential losses, while they become more risk-averse when the same options are presented as potential gains. This asymmetry in risk perception is closely tied to another important concept, loss aversion. Loss aversion refers to our tendency to feel the pain of a loss more strongly than the pleasure of an equivalent gain. 
For example, the disappointment of losing $100 is often greater than the joy of finding $100. This concept is not just limited to financial decisions but extends to various aspects of our lives, including health, relationships, and even career choices. By being aware of these cognitive biases, we can train ourselves to look beyond the immediate emotional response and evaluate the true value of our choices. Thinking fast and slow provides valuable insights into how to improve our decision-making by engaging our more deliberate system too. Kahneman offers practical strategies for overcoming cognitive biases and making more rational choices. One such strategy is to cultivate mindfulness by paying attention to our thoughts and feelings without judgment. This practice can help us become more aware of our own biases and make more conscious decisions. Another key takeaway is the importance of considering multiple perspectives and seeking out diverse viewpoints before making important choices. By slowing down, questioning our assumptions, and engaging in deliberate reasoning, we can make choices that align with our values and goals. Thinking fast and slow is more than just a fascinating exploration of the human mind, it's a practical guide to making better decisions in all aspects of life. By understanding the dual nature of our thinking, which Kahneman describes as System 1 and System 2, we can learn to harness the strengths of both our intuitive and analytical selves. System 1 is fast, automatic, and often subconscious, while System 2 is slow, deliberate, and conscious. Kahneman's work encourages us to be more mindful of our mental shortcuts known as heuristics, to question our assumptions and to engage in deliberate reasoning when faced with important choices. By recognizing the predictable errors in our thinking, such as biases and fallacies, we can take steps to mitigate their influence and make more rational decisions. Whether we're navigating the complexities of our personal lives, making financial decisions, or making professional choices or simply trying to understand the world around us, the insights from thinking fast and slow can empower us to make choices that lead to greater happiness, success, and fulfillment. By applying these principles, we can improve our decision-making skills and ultimately lead more thoughtful and intentional lives. The book serves as a valuable resource for anyone looking to enhance their cognitive abilities and make more informed decisions in every aspect of their life. So, the next time you're faced with a decision big or small, take a moment to pause and reflect. Are you letting your intuitive system 1 take the reins, or are you engaging your more deliberate system 2? By becoming more aware of our thinking processes, we can make choices that are more aligned with our values and goals. Now, we are curious to hear your thoughts. What are some examples of situations where you've experienced the interplay between your own System 1 and System 2? Share your thoughts and let's continue the conversation about the fascinating world of decision making. Before we go, we ask for your help. Please subscribe to our channel. With your subscription, you are encouraged us to create more summaries. Any comments and recommendations are welcome. Hit the like button, share with friends, and turn on notifications to stay in the loop. See you next time.